If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super great. They got fast 24-7 support. Make sure to check them out, and make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm going to be going over my favorite set in the game, my favorite set in Madden, guys. It's been a while since we had a video like this, but this set's actually the best one of the year so far because of just how expansive everything is this time. Uh, they did try to ruin this set this year, earlier in the year, by only giving us two bat players back and some of this stuff. They're now allowing us to get four, which is just a great, great deal, guys. It's literally a steal. You gotta be getting this done, especially if you're not a suit, like if you're an Uber God Squad, it's not exactly the most worthwhile set. But if you're not an Uber God Squad and you quite literally can just use a lot of players from your team, like this is great. Now, guys, before we get into today's video, shout out to our Poodle Squad member for the day, Deacon the Goat 22. Thank you so much for being a part of the Poodle Squad. If you are new, if anyone else, you guys want a chance to be shouted out, all you gotta do is like the video. Comment down below, Poodle Squad, and turn on that noti bell. Now, guys, it is the it is the uh, Autumn Blast promo. If you guys do need coins for the set or do need coins for anything, head over to my reserve down below. We do have Autumn Blast discounts, so make sure you guys are going down below and taking advantage. Make sure you use code Poodle for fifteen percent off your order. But moving on, guys, we need to get these solos done. Hopefully, you're already working on them. Autumn Odyssey solos. You earn an eighty overall Autumn Ace and then upgrade them to a ninety overall. Visit your relatives around the country to collect delicious feed, uh, feast food. Feed the items, food items to your Autumn Ace to upgrade him. Select the upgrade option on an upgradable Autumn Ace. So make sure you guys get these done. Once you get your free 92, doesn't matter who you really take here. I'd probably take Pat Pete, though, being that he's the best one. Take Pat Pete and collect him. Then once you do that, we can move on to the next part of this video. And make sure you are getting this done. This is very important for the math and everything else. The thing we want to be focused on here is this set right here, Master Tony Romo. You guys know I love my Master sets. And specifically now, because of how good they made this set, I like it a lot more. Now, here we go. Exchange 92 overall, Allen Robinson the second. Brandon Scherf, Fletcher Cox, and Patrick Peterson for 94 overall Tony Romo. You will also get Romo's power-up item and that versions of all four 90 overall Autumn Aces. So remember that. You do this set, you get Tony Romo, all four players, and a power-up. Yes, the players are not, but that's fine, and I'll show you guys why. So, we have multiple methods, but I'm going to tell you the ones that I prefer versus the one I don't prefer. But, depends what you guys want to do here, but here's the thing. You guys have to have all. You guys have to get all four of those players first. So you get the one for free. So you're gonna buy the other three. So let's do. Let's go do the math on that and show you guys how much that comes out to. You can see here. These are the autumn aces that you are going to need to complete the set. So as you can see on here, these are the prices: 157, 159, 156, 154. Now more than likely, guys, you can get them all for about 150. Just sit there. That's not gonna be the highest price. They're all gonna range around the same price. That's why I said before, take whichever one you want. You can go with Pat Pete, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. They're all gonna roam around the same price. So let's do 150 times four. So it's gonna cost you guys 600K to get this done to complete the set. Now here's where it matters. You get the one free, right? So if you get one of them for free, subtract 150K. So that leaves you with 450K that this set's going to cost you. So it's gonna cost you 450K. And if you guys come back here, it is going to cost you approximately, let's see, to get Roma. Roma's 251. So it's going to cost you four, uh, 251 to do the set. But you get back approximately let's see 251 after a reduction you're getting around 230 so you're going to lose 220k in the set now here's where we do the math let's get back to the screenshot so this set will cost you 220k now why is this such a good idea because brandon sheriff is usable and startable fletcher cox is usable and startable and so is patrick peterson alan robinson isn't that great but again you can always quick sell them for leaves now here are the tiers method number one method number one is this you do the set you keep all four players and you sell tony romo and his power up so that will cost you 220k and you end up with Patrick Peterson, Fletcher Cox, Scherf, and Allen Robinson. Now, why is that so good? Because you're, all these players go for a total of 600K, and you're going to get them for approximately 220K. So essentially, you're getting like two free players here. So in the end of the day, you're getting a starting DT, a starting right guard, and a starting cornerback for the price of 220, which is a super great method. So like I said, if you're like a 93 overall God squad, or you're like, your, your team's too good, and these players won't start, don't do this method. But guys, if you're like a 88 overall, 87, like, Every single guy here would be a starter for you. This is the best possible method for you because think about it. You're going to spend 220K sooner or later for a cornerback, DT, a guard anyways. Why not get four players out of it, right? So you can do that right now and get four players. You'll have a starting DT, a starting right guard, a starting cornerback, and probably a third or fourth string wide receiver. Or you can quick sell them for leaves and convert the leaves another way. But either way, this is a great, great value. Now, here comes method two. I personally prefer method one in the situation. Uh, method two is where you get rid of everything. Now, getting rid of everything isn't always the best case. I mean, it depends on how much the conversion rate is, but let's go back. So, right, so it's 450k to get this done. Now, you sell Tony Romo, you get about 220 back. 
give or take. Really, well, 230 back, technically. 230 back. So you end up with 220, 220,000 once again to finish the set. So you quick sell everything, right? You quick sell everything in here for fall and leaves, or you can quick sell some of the stuff. This is where it really comes down to this. So let's say you do this set, it costs 220, right? And you're like, I only need Patrick Peterson and Fletcher Cox. I'm not going to use Sheriff or Allen Robinson. So you quick sell Sheriff and Robinson. You take the fall and leaves. You go to the store. You go like 85 plus packs or whatever you can get done with fall and leaves. You get that done and then you subtract that. So let's say you can get back like 60, 70K of fall and leaves. You subtract that. So now it costs 70K back. So now the whole thing costs you 150K and you got Fletcher Cox, Patrick Peterson. Now, I personally don't think this is a good idea considering how they've nerfed the conversion rates and everything. I really don't think these methods are as good anymore. I think the method where you keep them all is the best one. Now you could also quick sell everything, which again, I don't think you'll get your, I don't think you'll get profit back. It's more of a gamble that way because you're pretty much gambling that you will get something high enough to where you'll get your money back. Now here comes method three. Method three is pretty much where you keep Romo and you sell everything else. Now, again, depending on the conversion rates or you keep some and some, right? So let's say you wanted a Romo really bad and you wanted like Pat, Pete and Cox, we don't need the other guys. You have 450 K total again, you're keeping Romo, but you quick sell Sheriff. And you quick sell Allen Robinson, you get back, like I said, 75K ish, right? So that means the whole thing costs you 375. So you end up with Patrick Peterson, Fletcher Cox, and Tony Romo for 375. Now, pretty much all you're doing is getting one of the guys like Fletcher Cox in a discount, essentially, or you're getting Tony Romo in a discount, right? Because Fletcher Cox costs 150. You're essentially getting a discount, right, on all those three players. So again, if you're gonna, in my opinion, if you're ever going to buy ever any of the set pieces in a master set, always do the set, right? Because before it was gonna cost you around 220 to do it. One player is 150. For an extra 70k, you get four. So one for 150, four for two uh, for 225 or 220, right? So those are the three methods. Again, in this specific instance, considering you get four players back, I'd go with method one because, like I said, method one is the best one. After a god squad, maybe you stay away from this, but again, definitely say you want to be doing. It just makes so much sense. Like I said, if, if you're gonna get if you're gonna buy Pat Pete and if you're gonna buy two guys, please do the method. Like if you already want Allen Robinson for your Bears team or you already want Brandon Scherf for your your line. Might as well get Cox and Patrick Peterson and Allen Robinson for an additional 70k, which you can then make up other ways by quick selling one of the ones you don't want or something, right? Now, Tony Romo, I don't think you want to keep him. I think if you're gonna buy him, just buy him. I don't think in this set, oh, if you're gonna keep him, then keep him from the set. But specifically, guys, 450. If you want to go that route, 450 for all of them, that's not bad. You get Romo and four not players for 450 alone. They go for you're pretty much getting Romo for free, right? So here's the other thing. If you want to get, if you were gonna buy all four set players already, you can pretty much get Romo for free. Put them in the set. You get Pat, Pete, Cox, and Sheriff, and Robinson that go for 600k. You get them for 450, and on top of that, you get to keep Romo. So technically, you're getting one for free. You know what I mean? So like, you're either gonna get free nap, you're gonna get free uh, 92 overalls, right? Because if you go the route, the method one, you're pretty much getting a bunch of free 91s. Because you put in a few of them, and you sell Romo and for 220, you're getting four. So you're getting like one to two free there on top of a regular value, almost like two and a half actually. And the final method, you're pretty much getting Romo free, but that's only if you want to keep the 92s anyways, right? So you really got to, as far as Romo go, go, goes, guys, you'll see him up to 260. You'll see him down to 240. He might even go down more as days go on. So just keep, remember guys, here's the thing with the set. If you guys watch this video a week from today, you're like, oh, Romo's only 220. You know, this video doesn't make sense. Everything's in a ratio, guys, for the most part. So if Romo's 220, that means Pat, Pete, and all of them are 140 each instead of 150. So everything kind of goes in, in effect that way. So... Just know that's how that works. So he'll be 245, but 5K less per player is 20K less total. Rome was down 20K, same thing. So make sure you are addressing it. And guys, the, the math still applies, right? So like you add up the four players, you subtract Romo, that's the total. If the, if Pat Peak only goes for 130 in a few days and Tony Romo only goes for 190, you do the same math. You add up 230 four times, you subtract the initial 230 you got from the free one and you subtract Romo and you get what you get, right? So just make sure you are applying that to everything. Hey guys, that's about it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you aren't to the channel, like I said, go down below. Comment down below, Poodle Squad, like the video, turn on that noting bell, and you will be entered for a chance to shout it out. If you guys need coins for the Autumn Blast promo to do the set, head over to my reserve. We do have Autumn Blast and discounts going on. If you use code Poodle, you get an additional 15% off of that. So take advantage. Everything will be down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about your specific scenario, comment down below. I will get back to you on that. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.